Hi, I'm Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com and in this video we'll learn how to use make a mini module that's shipped with our Mandeeps DNN themes. So let's get started. What I have here is a uh, installation of DNN 9.1 and I have imported a sample site for our Tahoe theme. Even though we're using Tahoe and Tahoe Mega Menu module in this video, this video applies to any DNN theme that Mandeeps.com offers. So let's get started. What we want to do is first um, put an instance of that Mega Menu module on a page. So I'm going to go ahead and really quick create a new page. I'm just going to call this Mega Menu. You can name the page whatever you like. Uh, we don't need it to be in the menu and really want to make sure that's only visible by the admins. So let's go ahead and add this. I'm just going to drag this down here at the bottom. Okay, so now we have a new page called Mega Menu, and I'm just going to get rid of this HTML module that gets added to every new page. And what we're going to do is add our Mega Menu module. So I'm going to hit Add Module and then just search for it. And like I said, in this video, we're using the Tahoe theme, but uh, if you have Porto, it will say Porto Mega Menu and so forth. So you can uh, simply go ahead and add the module to the page. So let's go ahead and refresh the page really quick. And there we go. Okay, now that we have the module on the page, the very first thing I'm going to do is take one of these menu items and make this into a Mega Menu. Let's let's do that to our short codes here because we have a lot of items here. So. I'm just going to simply choose the short codes page here and this page is as you can see I only show you the root pages. I'm going to say let's change this to a mega menu. Oops, wrong one. This one right here. And uh, I want it to be four columns wide. So let me go ahead and do that. And I don't want the left content. I clicked on it by mistake so I'm just going to remove it and then I hit save. And now if I go and take a look, I have a mega menu here. And if you notice, this mega menu is using the same color as the rest of the menu. This color is the primary color that's coming from our style switcher. So let's go back and take a look really quick. And as, as I can see, the color here is set to primary. I can change that to default and hit save. Then that's going to become a uh, light color, usually white. Similarly, I can go ahead and change that to a darker version of the color right here. And now it is dark. So we can go ahead and individually control the colors for these root menus. Uh, let me go back to shortcut here. I do have the option other than primary to do secondary and so forth. So there's four different colors that we can use from Style Switcher to give that a color. I'll just keep this primary and then switch back so each individual menu can have its own color here and um, each individual root menu item can have its own color through the style switcher so that's that's pretty neat all right let's see what else we can do with the uh, with the module and and of course you don't have to use custom you don't have to use the mega menu to change colors for example this home here if i want to make this dark i can simply call this dark here too and hit save and that will change into a darker menu. All right, so we've covered how to make Mega Menu. Uh, let's look at some of the options in Mega Menu. Uh, we can do four different columns, um, up to four different columns, as, as you can see here, one, two, three, and four. I can also add some content on the right if I want, and I'm just doing a quick demo here. Um, uh, you could you could add any arbitrary HTML images markup you like here um, but what I just did here is I did four columns plus I added some more content on the right similarly I can add some content on the left as well for a total of six columns I'm gonna go ahead and remove this and hit save so my menu looks nice there we go finally we do have uh, a concept called custom menu and you can simply take that short codes uh, again and change that to custom menu and with custom menu you have a empty slate you can go ahead and uh, literally include any HTML JS CSS to create a menu that you like to give you an example I'm just gonna switch over here to our um, 
sample site for Tahoe and if you take a look at this features tab you can see that uh, we have a bunch of different icons appearing in the menu we have tabs going on at the top and I can switch between content we have a carousel going on here in the middle of it so the custom menu allows us to do that you can put whatever HTML you like here uh, supported with your CSS and JavaScript and then uh, that becomes your menu and again just for demo purposes I'm just gonna say this is a custom menu and I'll save it and if I hover over the short course now I will see that this is a custom menu I can see that right here so that's it for this short video uh, if you have any questions or concerns please open a support ticket and we'll be happy to assist you thank you so much for watching the video